very honored to uh, have Aslan's most dangerous comedy troupe, Chicago Secret Service, who have uh, do their teatro, their arte, do their consciousness raising, have uh, you know really transformed the lives of, of countless people, right? So uh, we're we're extremely excited with that, <clears throat> and but. Uh, Establishing those relationships with Elias, with uh, Tomas, and Susan has been invaluable, to say the least. But before, before we start, we have a, a, a guest that we really like to honor. Our, our, someone who's very dear to my heart, to my colega's heart, and that is uh, our esteemed Attorney General, Tom Horn. So let's give him a big hand. <laughs> I am the new Tom Horn. Thank you so much, Sean. You're such a nice, big Mexican. I am the new Tom Horn. I am proud to be the representative of Arizona, one of the highest levels of law justice for all. And I know Rasa is not race, and Masa is not bread. I learned that here at the Beatle Conference. I mean, uh, the Cheeto Conference. <laughs> I have turned a new leaf, and I want to announce that I am for Rasa Studies now. I have changed my mind. We need Rasa Studies. Thank you, my friend. But not in public schools. We need Rasa Studies in prisons. Private prisons and public prisons. But here to help me connect with the Mexican community, I'm going to introduce, and in this corner, and a lean, mean, 127 pounds, 5'2 vertically, her helmet head, her hair spreads out, wrapping four feet wide. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to Margaret Dugan, a.k.a. Dora the Exploiter. <laughs> And when he was crying, 
Uh, welcome to Theopo, Mihal. This is interactive. Okay? Um, it is confirmed that he went by the name of Falcon 9 and Thucydides, a great ancient general uh, during the Spartan War. Thucydides was gay. Thucydides was gay and, and, and he had three wives. <laughs> One of the Muharas from Unido. <laughs> Absolutely not. And yes, I have this right here. We did a search on his office and found three short leather skirts. Two funny hats and one long leather whip made in Nogales from Nalga Hide. <laughs> Not his Nalgas. <laughs> but DNA was used and it was DNA was used for testing and it was used on his Nalgas. I knew it! I told you. But what is wrong with Ross's studies is that it teaches students that they are oppressed, that they must be individuals that they must create communities, and that is being uncivilized. We, just let me finish. Quit being such a crazy loca. <laughs> the right is divided. The right is divided. INS, who is INS you need them? We, our schools, must mold them as individuals who will fit neatly into low-paying jobs or prison cells. If we if they do not accept their second-class citizens, and creating communities is un-American. Go to school to belong. You go to school to get civilized. Come on. To be civilized means not to, to speak English. To be civilized means to have excellent schools and prisons. That's civilization. To be civilized is not to ask questions. To be civilized is not to know who which the poetry, culture, what you want to is. <laughs> That's a Western view of civilization. That's a Western interpretation. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> to be civilized is to take orders. Did you get a big old on onions, pickles, pig style? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, all day. Yes, Amasa. <laughs> we must domesticate our students. There is no other way. We must domesticate our students. There is no other way. Boy, you little civilized Mexicans are nice. How much are you going to take? We must domesticate our students. You're, you're, you think we're living in kennels? You think schools are cages? You're worse than those people in Murrieta. You should be ashamed of yourself, Tom Hart. Those are my cousins, okay? <laughs> you don't have any Latino cousins. You're from Canada. You're not even from here, man. Where does the Pelo police? You should get lost, man. It's time for a security speech. Security, security. I knew he was scared. The big guys are always scared of us little guys. <laughs> Well, since I have the floor, I'm just going to do a little takeover of the stage, Mecha style, like we yeah. did in the old days, right? Who remembers that stuff? Yeah. 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 Give me my Mecha! Yeah. Give me my Mecha! Yeah. Yeah. Burn City Hall, man! <laughs> Look, first, before we go Burn City Hall, I'm sorry, the school district is where we should start. I'm going to give a radical Chicano speech to get this whole chingadera started. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I, I know there's little mijitos. I try to be a disciplined Chicano Marxista. <laughs> for those of you do, for those of you who have not seen me on YouTube, and are not familiar with the radical leftist movement in Aslan, <laughs> let me enlighten you <laughs> on who is present before you. I am Che Castro. The most radical Chicano in all of us, long. <laughs> the only problem is I'm not 100% Chicano. <laughs> I'm uh, half Chicano, half Cubano. Cubano on the side of my mother. Y soy Chicano por parte de un amigo de mi papá. <laughs> Let's get beyond this personal stuff because we need to study the structure of the Yankee imperialismo that is dominating our lives. So I will therefore, ergo, step two, a dialectical Chicano materialistic breakdown of the current historical situation in Arizona. And a slide. 
let me just say that the, the historical situation calls for an uprising, a student, community, familia, and teacher uprising. And I will now delineate, delineate the ideological parameters of the situation. But first, let me just establish my credibility. I'm happy to be the president of the most radical association in the United States, and that is the Mexican Organizational Committee Opposing Sanctions. That's right, Mogos. <laughs> We like to deeply analyze the entrails of Don Imperialismo. <laughs> and we feel that the only way our little children will achieve liberation is if we dig deep into those entrails <laughs> and clear the passages <laughs> of liberation. <laughs> And we will not stop digging <laughs> until we have reached the stinky truth. <laughs> and we can taste justicia with our own lips. <laughs> what? What? And in Mokos, we also like to flick our ideas everywhere we go, especially to the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I think part of our political strategy must be identifying with other groups that black and brown connections are integral. And for that, we must go to the Arab roots of our Chicanismo. The Arabs brought civilization to Southern Europe. We all know that. Right? We know the history of Europe. And it is in that Arabic culture where we have deep roots of Chicano civilization as well. So all the words that begin with A-L are proof of our, Chica, our Arab Chicanismo. Almohada, Almanac, Al Pastor, Al Pacino, Al Rato Bato. We, and I, all these learnings are incredible. The source is Saddam Hussein, who is one of our key Arab leaders. And we all follow the divine orders of el atole que comí. <laughs> I think we also need to reaffirm our indigenous roots. I am very indigenous, even though I am an atheist and a Marxista. I do connect with my indigenous roots. I am from Southern California, so I'm part too much. Gabrielenio, Tongva. I'm so Tongva. I'm wearing a Tongva right now. <laughs> I'm Gabrielenio. I was with Gabriel, rolling Leno. <laughs> and I'm also too much. My, my mother always tells me, Check Gasto. You're so radical. You're too active. You, you, you party too much, you drink too much, you eat too much, you go to matcha meetings too much, you're just too much. More scientific proof. Well, finally, I want to wrap up with the dialectical materialist dialectics, the words of a movement. Rudy Acuna said, rhetoric and words are the engine of a revolution. And so I want to remind you of the sayings that bring us together as people, as communities, as progressive radical revolutionaries following the orders of Che Gasto. And so some of those beautiful sayings, Mecha has that beautiful saying, La Unión hace la fuerza. La Unión hace la fuerza. But the people that just said it have little fuerza. Come on, let's say it stronger. <laughs> La Unión. In unity, there is strength. Si se puede. Yes, we can. Started right here in Tucson by Dolores Huerta when she was registering voters. And now it's sung in all the World Cup games where the Latin American countries lose. <laughs> What's a 
another saying of the movimiento. Que viva la raza. What's another one? Chicano power. Chicana power. Chihuahua power. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the saying that I was known for on all the university campuses when I was a college radical. My parents work with their hands so that we can work with our minds. I can see. Ain't that right? Our parents work with their hands so we can work with our minds. And I, Chet Gasso, was known when I spoke to the thousands for my saying, Mis padres trabajaron tan duro que yo nací cansado. Close. 
for a baby formula. And uh, I think I know, I think I know a little formula that will keep baby Chewy cute, small, and baboso for a really long time. <laughs> you got it, Borracho. You don't even know what you're talking about half the time. Hold on a second. Actually, all the time. Hold on a second. You, you know that I do love you. Suavecito, mi amor. It's a, it's a, it's a thin line between love and hate. <laughs> Chicanos and Tucson. 
Hey, stop studying. I can't go to sleep. Why don't you read him that book and oh, let me go get some sleep? Thank you. You think you are a cheap or something? <laughs> exactly. Here, go to bed. Put your set your bed up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
A dreamer uses their revolutionary vision to make that dream a reality. And remember, Mio, dreaming is not a privilege. Dreaming is a right. Does that mean I can get reported at any time? OK, enough of these silly questions, Mio. That's it. Go to bed. That's enough. Yeah, enough of these silly questions. Go to bed. Actually, you're probably going to have, you're not going to be able to get any sleep because you have to take that test for, this, for school. OK, I'm going to go study. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> and myself are marching with the Aztecas back to Aslan. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Administrator. Hello. Do you speak English? Excuse me, Mr. Administrator. Hello. Oh, yes? <laughs> oh, c cut it down, kids. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't see you. Oh, you didn't, I, see, I didn't see me. See. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> now, uh, I'm just sorry. You know what yeah. Oh no, you didn't. Anyways, I am here to register my baby Chewy oh. for kindergarten. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Uh, but, uh, if you could turn the police down, you know, we can have a little conversation here. Uh, look, uh, your your son must first pass the uh, No Child Left Behind standardized test score. Oh, that's not funny. That's not funny, and that's racially biased, but my son will pass it. Okay, well, uh, let, let's get down to it. Okay. And uh, by the way, I'm, I'm Dr. Privilege. I'm the uh, principal here. <laughs> and uh, if you step over here, little boy, I'll give you a little test. His name's Chewy. Chewy. Not Chewy. a little boy. He's not little. Oh, okay. So very well, very well. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, let's see. Uh, you know, and if he passes the test, I believe he could... Uh, you will enroll him in the uh, Manos program. It's, it's a brand new program. Manos. Would you like to know what it is? Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Well, let me tell you. It's. it's let me explain a little bit. <laughs> it's a uh, Manos, by the way. Is the multicultural, educational, nativist operations of the state. Manos. <laughs> That, that, that's what it's called. <laughs> and it's part of the, it was the old uh, mass and Mexican American Studies Department, but we uh, kind of uh, merged it with Manos. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a new program, and it's very, it's a very excellent program. <laughs> so is it mas or menos uh, or mas or menos? <laughs> It's, it's not that. It's definitely, uh, 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 undoubtedly, indubitably, uh, positively, manos. <laughs> 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 yes, it's manos. <laughs> okay. Well, would you like me to tell you more about manos? No, uh, <laughs> is something wrong with you? <laughs> no, well, well, why would you say that? Are you crying? <laughs> Times up. Yeah, there you go. 
Si se puede. No, I'm sorry, it's wrong again. It's uh, Susie Peed. What? <laughs> Unscramble these letters into a, uh, a, a combination of two concepts. For that, you have, uh, you have five seconds. One, two, three, four, and time's up. Stop. Right, 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 right. Critical race theory. Never heard. Wrong crackers and rice. Quiz here. Uh, can you please uh, name the first five presidents of the United States? Yes, uh, Washington, Adams, Jefferson. Uh, they're all slave owners. <laughs> Wrong. Next, who discovered America? Nobody. Columbus was lost. Okay, there's a Mexican and a black going into a police car. <laughs> Who's driving? The Mexican. No, the police. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You know, he's just not. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I can get him into East Dejection uh, no, Elementary this is and we can work this out. Sir, this is I'll not give you some bus tokens. No, no. It's only 10 buses. You'll, you'll be you're, here by uh, tonight. Your tests are culturally <laughs> biased. This is ridiculous. Uh, excuse me? Uh, no one's ever told me that. <laughs> yes. You know what? You better watch out because I'm going to sue your ass and you're going to be Dr. Uh, Sabalo Jobless. Oh, okay, you know, okay. I'm going to all, all uh, the, you know, uh, political around this. Well, I'm sure we can have it's my son. Get him, Mom. Get him, Mom. Get him. Exactly. Get him. That's just start. That's wrong. <laughs> okay, okay. Exactly. You, you, don't need to, you, know, you don't need to bring other groups into this. No, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, I think I can fill out some forms and we can get him into, you know, old glory and get him into first grade. What? What? First grade honors? No. First grade honors with uh, an enroll, dual enrollment in the magnet program in uh, uh, Durasa Studies Prescott College? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to be in Anita Fernandez's class. <laughs> okay, well then, uh, you know, we'll just uh, fill out these forms. Uh, it's just a few just a few little forms. Come on. Uh, well, we, we'll do this in the office and you can just go ahead and walk to the, the next class. I sure will. And he also needs uh, snacks at recess and uh, free lunch. It's very clear today. So hot, so cold in Tucson. <laughs> My lung has been cold. <laughs> and I hear. I hear you all like Skittles. You guys like Skittles in Tucson? <laughs> you guys like Skittles? Who wants some Skittles? Yeah. <laughs> I hear you guys like Arizona iced tea.
You better stop, <laughs> or I'll shoot. Remember what Columbus and Cortez did. Remember the Alamo! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm an arm. And I'm just a baby. <laughs> Junctions. Everybody in the neighborhood looked at us as a gang member. Then, they 
can make money off of this. Your body, my body, and this pinta, and this prison, making feria for the man. That's how the system works, from beginning to end. Damn. That's why Raza studies is important. So then, the way it works, you know, is this whole structure you see here, the system, the prison. It's called the prison industrial complex. And you know what? They make feria, they make money off of each of our bodies that's in here. For each body on each of these cages, they're making hundreds of thousands. They'd rather send us to prison than send us to college. You know that. They need us to be lost. They need us to not know our culture. They need us to not know our identity. So that's why Rasa Studies is important. So that we could decolonize ourselves. So we could start thinking for ourselves. It's called self-determination. It's called liberation. And we get that through decolonization. All these fancy words, all they mean is that we're proud of who we are and we will never, ever be on our knees again. We need you back on the outside fighting for us to study in all the high schools. That way we can decolonize ourselves. You get this? Simon! <laughs> Yes, I can. 
Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Uh, we're Chicago Secret Service. We're at Teatro from Los Angeles, California. First founded in Berkeley, uh, Northern Califas in the Bay Area. On August 29th, the Chicago Moratorium in San Francisco. We're proud of uh, you know our background. We're part of the of uh, being that second, third wave of Chicano theater. You know, we were trained by uh, Teatro Campesino, San Francisco Mayan Troop, uh, and a few other uh, folks. Uh, we moved down to LA in the 90s, just in time for the LA Uprising, the LA Rebellion, and uh, the Zapatista Movement, the UCLA Hunger Strike in 1993. Uh, Sean and I were talking about this a couple of months back at the last Chito, that we're a unique generation. You know, we, we're not the 60s, and we're not this uh, generation. We're that in between, the Nepantla generation that, that had its own radical uh, historical experiences. And the Zapatistas in 94 also shaped our ideologies, you know? And so, uh,